Hi, this is Adam from Symmetry. Uh, so I'm just recording this video to show off the markup functionality within the Vault Web Viewer. So if I just take um, a random part here from my Vault, and if I just go to View here within the Vault, So this will load up fairly quickly and when I take a look at my component I can view and orbit and rotate and so on. I can use the view cube up here if that's my preference. Um, basic functionality. Um, so now let's say I want to make a markup to this component. When I click on the markup tool um, my component is essentially frozen in space. I can't rotate or orbit it at this point. But I can start making my markup because I'm working on a still um, image at this point. So if I select say the revision cloud I can draw a cloud like so. If I select text I can put in some text. Um, for instance and I also have the means to change the size of my text, increase the font um, I had a typo in there, which I can actually take out before I even save or export this. Um, we have options there for line size and line thicknesses. We have options for drawing simple rectangles. We have freehand sketch. Uh, there is the option to change the color of the pen. Um, so Fairly straightforward. Um, once I'm done with my markup, um, I can just select the save snapshot here and one thing that's important to note is the vault web viewer is a read-only access to the vault so these um, markups don't actually save into the vault you just got to save them onto your local PC and then send them to a CAD user who does have access, re write access to the vault using the vault client so at this point I'll just uh, call this uh, handle give it a name click on save it'll ask me to choose a location I'll just save this on my desktop and then I can send this attach it to an email and send it to a CAD user to take make the changes in the vault um, so we just showed that with the 3d um, parts we can do the very same with a 2d sheet drawing in the vault so same principle applies select the markup tool and then we have all our functionality down here arrows and so on um, rectangles and we can put in text and we can change text color we have the ability when we're on freehand here to use the highlight option instead of say the um, normal pen option we change maybe to a yellow highlighter and you know we can we can just start highlighting our drawing a little hard to see but the highlight pen doesn't actually um, hide the lines behind it so with that then we can just click save and we'll give this a name and then we can just save that to our local PC and attach it to an email and send it to a CAD user to make these changes.